if it's a studio day and I'm shooting content for YouTube, I like to be finished by 6 p.m. That way I can go home and do some editing and pat myself on the back for having done drag today. Hi, Vanity Fair. It's me, Miss Cracker, and this is everything I do in a day. I wake up and get out of bed at 7, at, 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 at 10, at 10 a.m. I use my phone to wake me up and uh, I put it on the most obnoxious setting because anything soothing, I will ignore. I only set one alarm because I am determined and I will get up after the fourth snooze. I check my phone, don't tell anyone, before I even roll over. The first thing I look at on my phone is pictures of me. It's to give myself confidence. I'm drinking coffee all the time, like as we're speaking. I'm from Seattle, so the most important part of my diet is coffee. I have my first cup of coffee as soon as I can possibly get to a pot. We're talking about within an hour of when I wake up, no matter what, no matter where I am in the world. I take my coffee however it comes to me. If someone brings me a coffee and they're like, I hope it's the kind you like, I'm like, it's the kind I like. The kind with coffee in it, I don't care. It could be cold, it could be hot, it could be ice, could have cream, it could be black, don't care. I am a morning shower person because I want to get my day started right away. And you can't do drag smelling like I smell in the morning, basically. <laughs> my typical shower is 10 minutes. You know why? The environment. I use a hydrating soap to moisten my skin and prepare it for shaving. Sorry to break the illusion. I use the cheapest shampoo I can possibly find because that's the way I am. And I use a Dove body soap to make sure that my skin is smooth and supple. Soft and supple. <laughs> I'm a religious toothbrusher, so I use an old-fashioned toothbrush and I brush for three minutes that I carefully time on my phone to the second. 15 seconds for each surface of my teeth. I'm really serious about this. And every time the dentist gives me a compliment, I'm like, yeah. And I did it without an electric toothbrush. I floss religiously. Like one of those people that gets a four foot long strand and does like a whole, like I'm toweling off between my legs, like this much, <laughs> like this much floss. My glam routine, if I am a boy for the day, is putting on pants. My glam routine, if I'm becoming a woman, involves taking my shower, doing my morning rituals, sitting down in front of a lighted mirror, moisturizing and priming my skin, going through an hour and a half of makeup, putting on a huge wig that I made, and stepping out into the world. The most important part of any glamour routine is leaving the house, and I try to make sure to do that every time I glam up. Breakfast is uh, as long as I can possibly delay it. It's called dieting. And then it's like all the carbs I can possibly find. <laughs> My favorite to-go breakfast is eggs, and sausage on a croissant. And you can tear it up with nails on into smaller pieces, and that's the most important part, because you can get it past your lipstick without messing anything up. By the time I'm having breakfast, I'm usually dressed, because if I like gave myself time to have breakfast, I would lose steam and never get in makeup. I would just spend the rest of the day munching. I base my outfits on where I'm going and what town I'm going to be in, so if I know that the author of Frankenstein was born in the town that I'm going to or died in the town that I'm going to, I'm gonna dress like Frankenstein. That's that's what the day calls for. A day to evening look. <laughs> if I am going to be on stage, I dress very differently than I'm going to, if I'm going to be on camera. If I'm gonna be on stage, I know that I can paint bold and I can take risks and try new things because it's gonna be far away and like blasted out by the stage light anyway. But if I'm gonna be on camera, I do the face that I know is going to work and that is not going to fail me, and I spend that extra time making sure all my I's are crossed and my T's are dotted. I'd say that it's noon by the time I catch an Uber to go do, do some work. For me, work means wandering around in whatever town I'm in and meeting people that love drag and taking photos in front of landmarks and the rest of the evening is, of course, hopefully a show, if I'm that lucky. But the real work for me is in meeting people. 
I don't take a lot of phone calls during the day, but I do take a lot of text messages from people saying, is this ready yet? Are you gonna have this submitted? What time is it where you are? And those are the things that take up the bulk of my life and they have gotten me so addicted to my phone. I should be ashamed. My old self that refused to have anything but a sidekick would be so ashamed of me right now. I try to stay off of social media so I don't have the Twitter app or Instagram. I spend all my time on Safari looking at Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> like, to be honest, <laughs> I try to keep myself out of social media, but I'm where there's a will, there's a way, and I found my way back in. <laughs> By the time I have to do a show, at the end of the day, I have already fully been in drag <laughs> for like five or six hours. So all it takes for me is just putting on some dancing heels and putting on a leotard and saying, okay, we have made our transition from gay to evening. Before I do a show, I always do like 30 minutes of rehearsal to make sure I know my numbers. But if I'm gonna put together a brand new show, we're talking like a week of rehearsal time with two to three hours every day where I'm working through everything I wanna say and making sure that my numbers are tight. From then on, it's only like little touch-ups every day just to say, okay, what have we discovered and what can I do that's new? Usually for me, a show starts at like 6 p.m. with a meet and greet. And then I say hello to everyone that I know and love because I see a lot of faces returning. And then I go and I do a little switcheroo with my outfit and uh, the show itself starts at like eight o'clock. To get ready for a show, I always try to hype myself up. So I put on my headphones and I listen to my tracks and I breathe deeply and I'm just walking around like a monster because the most important thing for me to do is sort of embarrass myself in front of the stagehands because if I can do that, then I can get in the mood for a show. But if I stay shy and little backstage, that's how I'm gonna perform on stage too. So I try to bring that stage vibe up while I'm while I'm getting ready for the show. Oh, I always have outfit changes during a show because the kids expect production these days. We're talking reveals, we're talking backstage switcheroos. If I don't catch my nail on something and almost yank it off by the end of a show, I know I'm not doing enough with my outfits. On a typical work day where I'm not gonna do a show, but instead shoot something for YouTube, I come to my studio in the Bronx and it's this big open space that has everything I love, all of my fan art and all of the clothes that I've worn over the years. It takes about eight hours to shoot a 10 minute episode. You have to prepare the outfit, then you have two to three hours of getting dressed, that's four right there. It takes an hour to shoot the thing. It takes an hour to take it down. Then it takes three hours to get everything transferred and edited. So yeah, for those 10 minutes, you have a lot of work. And if you have a really complicated uh, show, it can take like 20 hours. I finish work at like 10 o'clock after a show is done. Let me tell you about when I get out of drag. As soon as the curtain's like, Boom! I'm like, slam! And we are out of drag! <laughs> Unless there is an opportunity to be seen one more time. Like, if I think that people might see me walking from, like, the gig to my home, I will definitely stay in drag because these heels were made for walking and they deserve to be seen. After I leave the studio, after I leave the stage, the first thing I do is feed myself because it's the biggest means of self-care and uh, it's also the best way to celebrate with people. So whoever has been helping me all day long, we're gonna sit down together and break bread and enjoy that feeling of having done something beautiful for the world today, hopefully. And uh, I always tell people, if it is cheese on carbs, then it is a go. It can be lasagna, it could be fettuccine alfredo, it can be pizza, as long as it is, is a cheese on carbs, that's all I require. No matter what I'm doing, it takes me like 10 minutes to get home because if I'm at home in New York, my studio is 10 minutes from my apartment, so it's like nothing. And uh, if I'm on the road, it is definitely 10 minutes or less between the theater and the tour bus, so that is a blessing. 
As soon as I am out of my drag, I am into my PJs. I have a lot of silly socks. I have uh, uh, like kangaroos in space and toucans and grapefruit and all that kind of stuff in my socks. You know when I'm in the socks that the day is done. I like to uh, unwind with a, a nice binge worthy show. I try to only watch a binge show until I pass out and then no more because I don't want to rot my brain. Once I get into bed, I mean, I used to be blessed with insomnia. Now I feel like I do so much during the day that I just am unconscious pretty much as soon as I hit the pillow. If I don't wake up in a cold sweat with night terrors, then it is not a night. I have really vivid dreams about exactly what happened during the day and I feel that it's really unfair for people who dream they can fly or have superpowers because I'm dreaming about my foundations not blending. I wish my mind had a more expansive imagination. Instead, I'm like dreaming about looking at comments on YouTube, which is what I did when I was falling asleep. <laughs> I get as many hours of sleep as I possibly can, but I think the sweet spot is seven. I have a very disrupted sleep and it is because of my anxiety, but maybe that's, maybe that's for another episode of the show. <laughs> so that is everything that I do during a day. Vanity Fair, thank you so much for watching and I hope it gave you a laugh or two because it gave me one or five. <laughs>